Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is the next step in our Easy Peasy Art Journal. We are going to get to getting. Now this is all dry. I'm not going to worry about the doing this um, until the end, you know, when I'm done, because I kind of want to show you this. I'm very excited. So if you, if you just found me or you found this video, I will link up at the top um, where you can go to see the first video, uh, how to make the cover. And if you cannot, if there's nothing to click, uh, you can look down in the description and the link will be there. And um, yeah, and then don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of great videos coming up. Okay, so we have this and now, and we have our yarn, our yarn, our yarn, whatever color you want, doesn't matter. It could be string, yarn, it doesn't matter. Um, you can even take, this is going to be ridiculous, but you can even take fabric or socks or whatever you have and cut, cut them in strips and use it. You know what I'm saying? Not a big deal. And I'm going to pick up some paper here. Let's see. Let's use a few sheets. We'll take, I don't know. We'll take one of these so I can show you how you use your printer paper. Um, yeah, we'll just start with couple of these right now and then I'll come and grab some more okay so I have it I have my paper I'm gonna move my camera back just a little bit because um, I don't know it's kind of I don't know if it's moving on me today it's like I don't know where I want to be do I want to be here do I want to be there I don't know okay so here we go we're gonna take our paper now we'll use our printer paper first and I'm just going to fold it in half. I am not a stickler for size. Some think size matters. I don't. Um, <laughs> just, okay. So I have a piece here that we will use of the printer paper and I folded it. And what you want to do next is cut your scrapbook paper. Now I'm going to fold my scrapbook paper in half. I'm going to show you because, you know, you don't want it to be too uh, long. So I'm going to mark it here with just with my nail. And then I'm going to fold this in half. And that'll become a paper as well. Okay. And I'm going to take my scissors. Good okay, your scissors and just cut across like this. Okay. Now we're going to do this with all of our, um, oops, my nail, all of our papers and you can do different sizes, different ways, but we're just going to cut as many sheets as you want. Um, I think I'm going to do now. Remember when this goes in and I'll show you in a second, you get this page, you open it up, you get these pages and then you get the back as well. And I'll show you how that all comes together in a minute. So I am just going to continue to add paper. Same way. Now you can see this is a piece that I uh, had ripped something off for whatever. So I know I can cut it right there to make it even. So I'll do that really quickly. You can use decorative scissors so you have fancy ends. You can, as you can see, it's torn there. You can tear it. Um, don't throw this away. It's a good little piece of paper. Um, so yeah, so then I'm just going to fold this one as well. Now you see how it's kind of like, you know, this is torn, this isn't. So I can go in very easily and just kind of tear up some of it. So it, you know, matches and all. So I'm going to do another piece and another piece. Now this, am I going to be able to get in? Yep. I'm just going to cut this, save this. This is good stuff and fold this. And you can see like on the bottom, I'm leaving this little advertisement thing there because it doesn't matter. So we have two, three, four. We're going to keep on going. Let's grab some more. Oh my God. I made a rhyme. Two, three, four. Let's grab some more. Let's grab some more. All right, 
I'm just going to take this off right now. So we've got this purple. we got this purple. I'm going to do a bunch because these are basically the same size. This. Oh, that's a nice hard one. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm not even funny. This one I will cut separately. This one because they're already cut. Oh, dear. I got a lot of those, don't I? Do this one. And this one. Okay. So let's cut these first. And you can see, just going to do like that and you can't really mark it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these all together nice, right? And I'm going to fold them. Some are bigger than others. It doesn't matter. I'm going to fold them. Now you can use your bone folder. Um, again, we're not worrying about perfection, right? We want progress. We want to be able to have a art journal that we can play in and not have to worry um, about, you know, what we're doing. It's, it's going to be fun. So you can see I'm kind of right there and I'm going to cut it. I like that. Save these. It'd be a little long still, but I can put it in whatever way. I can cut more of it. Not going to worry about it too much because I don't know. Maybe I want it that long. Who the heck knows with me? I don't even know. This one, I don't have to do anything to because that's going to fit very nicely. And you know what? I think that's all I'm going to do. Um, I did like the music one though. Where'd it go? I really did like this one. So maybe we'll do this one too. But where do I want it? Okay. And then we're just going to fold this in half. I go in my head sometimes. I'm very sorry. And again, measure it. Give yourself a little cut there. And again, you get all these little pieces for collage from when we do mixed media. Come on now. We'll even probably use it in the journal. What? I know. It's crazy, isn't it? How we can just keep on keeping on recycling. All right. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to have your papers and you want to put them inside each other. But first, we're going to attach them into the journal. And this is where the fun comes. This is where we can really, um, you know, decorate and that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to use my yarn and I'm going to use pink. And what you do is you want a fairly big, I mean, I guess I can measure it for you because I know somebody will ask me. And uh, I never know. I just do things because I like to do them. But let's, this looks about, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you my about. So this looks about, what do I do with my ruler? I know this is nine. That's about 18. So about 18, I think, inches will be good. I like just to go, we're going to do three of these. about three of these. Okay. And, um, I'm going to double check. Sometimes you need a lot more than that. We're going to tie up on the top and the bottom. So you want to take it and that's where it's going to tie. And I want a little extra to kind of, um, do some beads and whatnot. So I have this, I know that this is going to fit. So then I can go, and I can cut a bunch. Better sometimes just to do it all at once. So you have them. So I'm just going to cut. And then do another one. Yep, that went up a little bit small. So we will put him to the side because I don't want it. I was so surprised that I went on, um, on Facebook in my group and somebody already, um, had made one ready for the next part, which I'm so excited about. 
Uh, so excited. I love when you guys, uh, I'm not doing this so much on camera, but you don't necessarily have to. I just kind of do it and then I'll fold it and do some more. And then of course not the yarn because why not? <laughs> not the yarn. Why not? Oh my God. I'm like a comedic genius. Am I not? Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm insane. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. All right. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to keep you forever. You'll get the hang of it and then you'll know. All right. So let's take our first piece of string or yarn, whatever we got. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to open this up and you're going to set your first paper in there. And then you're going to take your yarn, you're going to take it around. I'll tie down here because it'll be easier for me. Take it as long as you want it. And then you just, that's why you want to give yourself enough yarn so you can, you know, play around. You want to give it a tie. And remember, we're tying the outside too. And then another one. And your hands don't want to work. So we double knot it. Now you see you have some string here. We have some more string if you want it to hang a little longer. We can bead, do whatever we want with that. And we got our first page in. Okay. So now, and you can see it's in there. Now, listen, you have to do it individually. Don't think that you can kind of put them in and, uh, you know, like do a stack. You can't because um, they won't, it won't hold. So next we'll pick another, um, Another piece, another piece of paper. Come on, why you gotta be in a nut? Why you gotta do me like this today? Why? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I hate cutting knots out because then you waste so much. I just want you to have some, some yarn. Okay, we're getting there. I think. I don't wanna. I don't want to jinx it, but I think we might be getting there. All right, I'm just cutting this knot off because let's face it. Let's face it. It's taking way too long and I just don't have it in me. Why well, can't? That's why I need Emily here because she can, she'll sit and do these, undo these knots. Okay. Next page. <laughs> it's called, you should have prepared and had these cut beforehand, Kel. I know. All right, next page. You can see we're going to put this in. It's not the same size. Doesn't matter. You know, if you look, if you're OCD and you want it all the same size, by all means, put it all the same size. I don't care. Take the time. Do it right. You can do it, baby. All right. Anyway, so you can see I'm going to put that down. I'm going to take my yarn. I'm going to throw it over. Put it in the crease. Oh, my God. Okay. Right? And then we're going to tie it again. And you want your little bits hanging down. Sometimes you don't want those bits hanging, but they do hang. Now, I'm doing this. This is easy peasy. The next one I do, I will teach you how to stitch it in. You know what I'm saying? Like to stitch them all in where you don't have uh, to worry about doing this. But this is for people who, and then cut off your end. This is for, you know, people who are new and who don't want to stitch and who just want to make a nice journal. Um, I love making journals. I love making junk journals. This is just, you know, a normal, normal journal. Nothing too fancy. Now I have a couple pieces here that I don't know why, but they're cut smaller that were wrapped in. So I'm just going to take the two ends and I'm going to knot it. Okay. And then that makes it one piece. So I'm not wasting, you know what I mean? Jello bean. All right. And this is our next one. So then you'll just open it up and you will do the same thing. 
Now, you know, you can leave the knot down here if you want, wherever, it doesn't matter. It can go in the middle, you know, if you want a little texture there, but you make it, you know, whatever way you want it. And again, I'm just kind of setting, setting and forgetting. I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna tie it. I am not a good tire with my hands, so, you know, I'd like to be able to put my finger on that knot and tie it again, but it's just not going to work that way. But it's okay. I'm going to give you a little tip. I'm going to put one more in to show you one more time, and then um, that'll be it. And then I'll, I'll put, you know, back in. Let's put some of these uh, ones I just cut in. to show you. I think I put, did I put in? Same thing. Look at that. And then you just take your yarn, you know, take it around, and you cut it. I mean, you tie it. Cut it, Cal. Cut it. What the heck? Because I'm staring at the scissors and cut came to mind? I don't know. Why? Just because I'm weird. You know, you want to get it in the middle there. Again, pull it as tight as you can. You don't want to rip your paper. And you're tying it. And you can see how like a little loose it is, even though I'm trying to tie it my best way. And these are all your little fringies that we could play with after. And the last thing I'm going to do is put in just a piece of the jelly print paper that I have. You're going to do it the same way. Now you see how you can use so many extra papers, your jelly plate papers, your cast off of your ink and, and brushes and all that kind of papers. Um, so many wonderful ways. Oh, that's a long one. I'm gonna cut this and use it, I think, with another piece I have cut here. Same thing. We're gonna knot them together. Together forever. Forever, ever, forever. And then we're going to do it again, do it again. And if the knot bothers you, just pull it down. You know, you can use it as fringe or whatever. We'll deal with it, not hating on it. And then I'm going to do it again. There we go. And then I'll cut this off. Okay, so... Let me show you. This is the fringe so far. You know, make your papers. I go like this. Now you can see this is obviously too big. So if you want, you can definitely cut it. I'm going to leave it alone for now, I think. I think, um, see, for me, I like the extra. You know what I mean? But you can definitely do, you know, whatever way you want. So then when you start, now I will add a few more in. You start, here's your uh, cover, right? Here's your first cover page. You can decorate it, you know, your art journal or whatever, or you can just do an art journal page on this one page. It's not a big deal. Then you go in, and then you have this, and this is your next page. And a little tip, I, I know you guys know, um, you just take a piece of, like, paper, uh, printer paper, whatever paper you have, and you put it in between your sheets so you can art journal and everything and you don't get it on the next uh, art journal page if that bothers you. Um, and then you're, you're starting to make off a cast off anyway. You know what I mean? And then, so you have this and then you open it and then this will be your next one. Okay. And then same thing. You're done with your spread here. Let's open it. Oh, look, now this is your next spread. And then the next one, this is your next spread. Then you open it. This is your next spread. Then you do, that's your next spread. Look at that. Maybe I'll count them in a minute. That's your next spread. We got a lot going on here. This is your next spread. This is your next spread. And this is your back page. Now, do you want to make this your spread? You definitely can. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, but what I like to do is kind of leave this be and just take a little bit of glue and attach this so it's on the back so it gives it a little bit more sturdy uh sturdiness let's count how many pages we have one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So we have twenty pages already in a journal. So it's a twenty page journal already. And I think I'll add a couple more. Like I said, I'm not gonna do it on camera and bore you guys, but um that is how I put it together. Okay, now we got our strings. If you, uh, if it bothers you and everything, and I might do this anyway, you could take your glue stick or you could take your uh, Mod Podge or whatever you have, and you can glue these down on the back so they stay, so it doesn't move as much. Um, you definitely can do that and, and tighten it up. You can take a, and these are just suggestions, not a big deal. I think what I'm gonna do. This is what I say I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to use the uh, Mod Podge uh, paper, um, but you can use Mod Podge gloss, you can use regular Mod Podge mat, you can use Mod Podge whatever, whatever Mod Podge you have or whatever white glue you have or whatever you have. You see what I'm saying? Um, you can even take like duct tape or washi tape if you want and go, you know, and you have this on the corner and you just go, I don't even have washi tape here. You just kind of tape it and tape this, you know what I mean? And it's going to add more. So, you know, I'm not going to, uh, like I said, waste your time at the moment because I'm going to put more in. So I'm going to use my glue. And um, also something else you can do, and that'll tighten it up a lot, you'll notice. Um, if it bothers you, you can go in and just throw a little bit of um, tape down the middle like this. This is just masking tape. You can use painter's tape, whatever you have. I'm just gonna lay it like that. And then I'll go to the next one. Might as well start here. Might as well start, right? And you can do this as well. And you're just, you know, connecting them in a sense and kind of securing the yarn a little bit. And if it goes over, just cut it. it. Doesn't have to go all the way down or all the way up, you know? I'm just a crappy uh, tape cutter and measurer. <laughs> but hey, what you gonna do? You know, because you're gonna be painting over everything anyway. So it makes it that smooth. Let me tell you, there's plenty of art journals I've bought where I've had to tape them because they were crappy. So, see, so we got one, we got two, on to the next one. And you can use, I have some painter's tape here. You definitely can use painter's tape. Use scotch tape. Or you can use your glue. Like I said, use your glue if you want. Uh, like you would do on the outside, use your glue here. Just to make it, you know, just make sure it's dry before you go and try to shut it, you know. Oh, sticky. Doesn't stick that good when I go to paint on the walls, though. Okay, I'm going to stick on the masking tape, I think. A little will do ya. Move this just a little bit so I can get this underneath one. Like that. And then we'll open it. And I don't want to do this side yet. I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna let that go because like I said, I want to add more in. And this is my middle piece, so I really don't wanna um, mess with this till I get the other stuff in. So Turn it back and you can put it here too if you want you know if, if it's uh maybe i'll do the painter's tape because it's a little more secure at the moment and then just open it up and there you go so look at that so now we're nice and secure nice and secure and then when you go to you know, do the art journaling and all that's going to add uh, weight and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I'm not going to mess with this yet because I'm going to add some more papers, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe 20 is enough on this one. Yeah. You know what? Maybe 20 is going to be enough. So let me just do this real quick. I kind of had yellow. But for just some. But you can do your washi tape. Use washi tape, whatever you have. Remember, it's about what you have. 
you know, not worrying about everything else. Let's fold this. And then we can just use my little piece of tape there for now. And a little piece here. Whoops, it's not if I crunch up that tape, it's not. You ain't gonna work. You're not gonna work. And then again, you can do the back side if you want. As much or as little as you want because it's just holding it together. And then look what we got going on. Now, if this bothers you on the top, do not cut it all the way because remember we have our string there, but you can cut it just a little bit like that. Nobody's going to know um, that that string goes to there because you can see it's gone, right? And the same here, I can do the same thing. Put a little loopy there and look, there we go. Come on now. So excited. Look at that. That's it. That's all I'm going to do today because I want to finish up the um, cover in the next video and a few of the, uh, what is it called? You know, embellishments. Show you about like down here and that kind of thing. So cool. And like I said, I'm going to put glue on this just to kind of hold it. Hold it now. Hold it now. Hit it. Hit it. And it's just, look how nice. Not a dang thing wrong with it. So I'm so excited. I hope you guys uh, like this and that you guys do this. Um, I think it's fantastic and I love it. And like I said, wait, I'm going to throw glue, but wait until we get those beads and just some embellishments to make it look really, really cute. I can't wait. So leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Um, again, tag me. All my social media is down below. You can hit me up anywhere and send me a, uh, a picture of how far you've gotten or what you've done. Um, I'm so excited. I just can't wait. And yeah, and share me everywhere. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not already and you would like to be, please push the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so you can get notified when I upload, which is usually five, six times a week. And oh my God, my cat. Okay. And um, yeah, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And again, progress, not perfection. This is a great, easy peasy journal. I mean, come on. Now we got to do a page in it as well. So that's it. I love you guys so very much. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys just rock my world. So I will see you in the next video for this. Again, click up in the corner if you did not see the first one and you want to, or like I said, down below and go check out how we got to this far for the, um, oh gosh. The, what is this called? The front of the journal. I just lost all train of thought because I'm just so excited about this. I can't even stand it. Um, so yeah, so you can, the cover, cover of the journal. So yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.